teaching bar on Tuesdays at Sonoma Fit Nevada. I'm super excited. Unfortunately, yesterday was my first day and that did not happen. So I'm here today to introduce myself and to show you some fundamentals about bar. We're gonna do some bar abs and some bar arms today. One of the most important things about bar is good posture. So you always wanna make sure your abs are pulled in tight, your shoulders are down and relaxed, your spine is straight and your neck and spine are aligned. A lot of times we'll do some plie squats or we'll do some movements. Just try to stay focused on keeping your abs pulled in the entire time and pulled in towards your spine. Sometimes I may say lift your chest. That just means keep your chest lifted like you're at a tea party. So you want your chin up, chest lifted, lifted and your shoulders are down and back. So in bar, we always start with a warm up and we are generally are barefoot or in socks, like yoga socks. If you have any problems with your feet, I would recommend keeping your shoes on because that will protect your feet a little bit more. Or if you're not used to being barefoot a lot, I'm a beach bum, I'm on the beach all the time, so I love being barefoot. So you do what feels best for you. So let's just get started and we're gonna start with a march. We're gonna pull our abs in. Keep them nice and tight the whole time. Our arms come out. And when I say arms out, really stretch them out to both ways. You don't want floppy arms or lazy arms. Really extend those arms, pull the abs in, slowly bring them up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our elbows down and our knees are gonna come up. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna pull, pull. So your knee comes up, point your toes as your knee comes up, point, point. And with your, with your arms, pull as if you're in water. So you're Pulling, pulling, no floppy arms here. Act like you have weights in both of your arms if you need to. Each time your knee comes up, crunch those abs. Good, you should start feeling your heart rate go up. In four, three, two, we're gonna add a twist. We're gonna go to the side, side. Use your obliques. Those are the muscles right here. Good, keep going for four, Three, two, back to center, pull. Last eight, seven, point your toes, crunch the abs. Four, three, two, one, release, roll your shoulders. Good, you should be getting warmed up now. Our second warm up is our arms are gonna go out to the side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend down low a little bit. Pull the belly in, your spine is straight. We're gonna point to the side, side. Side, so extend the leg, point the toe. Keep your arms up high, don't let them sag. Good, point, point. Now add the arms, clap, clap. Open your chest each time and then clap with your elbows. I know that's a weird term, but if I say that, it'll avoid this. Clap, clap. Try to bring those forearms parallel. Point the toe, go lower. You will feel your heart rate go up. Good, four, six, five, four, three, and two, one, release. Woo, roll your shoulders. Okay, you warmed up? I'm warmed up. Always have your water, get some water. And we're gonna go down to the mat, we're gonna do some ab work. Now, if you're like me, and you have crazy hair, Put that hair up when we go to the mat. Otherwise, it'll be all over the place. We're gonna start out on a high plank. So go to, come down to the mat. Make sure when we go into a plank that your shoulders are over your wrists, okay? So check in with yourself. Lift your feet up and see this booty of mine? Bring it down, okay? I want it low. Try to keep a nice low plank. Pull the belly in so your abs are pulled in towards your spine. Make sure you're looking down, not at me, at your mat. We're gonna do side taps. So we're gonna start with our right leg to the right, center, left, center, right, center, left. Keep going. Pull your abs in. Don't let your back sag. Keep going. But watch this, don't sag down. Keep it strong. And don't do this. Stay low. Good. For four, three, two more. Good, just hold your plank. Pull the belly in. Hold it strong. Four, three, two, one. Come down. Push yourself up into Cobra. Get a nice 
nice stretch. If you'd like, push yourself back into a child's pose. And then let's flip over and do ab work on our back. So we're gonna go flat on our back. Our feet are gonna go straight up, okay? So point your toes, lengthen your legs. So you have long legs pointed straight up. Pull your belly all the way to the mat. So the most important thing I want is for you to flatten the back. Don't arch up. It's like you're glued down to the mat. Now if you have problems with your lower back, feel free to put your feet down at any time. Otherwise, keep them up, elongate them, point the toes, act like you have an imaginary ball here, pull your belly down, and just lift up and down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, for eight, really contract the abs. Don't use your neck, use your abs to lift yourself up. Four more, four, point your toes, three, Two, one, now let's go to the right. We go up to the right, now up to the left. Left and right, left and right. Remember, you lift with those abs, contract each time. Good. For four, three, two, back to center, we go up. Just pulse up for me, up. Squeeze the belly each time. I'm doing this with you, we're live, come on. Good, four, six. Five, four, three, two, and a hold. Hold up to your highest position. Look up at the ceiling. Point your toes, lengthen the legs. Tuck that belly in. Hold, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees on your back. Whew. All right, everybody. Let's do a little more out work, okay? How about we, this time, we bring our toes together and our, our I'm sorry, our heels together, our toes apart. It looks like this, yes? Lift the chest up, and we're just gonna start tapping. You keep doing that, I'll come back to my mat. So let's tap and let's lift the chest. So we're lifting the chest off the mat, we're contracting the abs and just we're tapping the heels. Tap, tap, tap. Breathe through this. Just make sure your legs are straight, toes are pointed. If you need to put your neck down at any time to rest, you can do that, otherwise keep it lifted. Four, three, two, ready, let's go open, close, open, close. Make sure toes are pointed, abs are pulled in, and it's as if you're in water, okay? So there's no swinging your legs here. This is slow, controlled. Good. Four more, four, lift that chest, three, two, hold it up. Pull your belly down, lift your chest up. Legs are, are lengthened and long, point your toes. Four, three, two, one. Roll it in. Whew. Are you feeling your abs yet? I'm feeling them. All right, rock yourself up when you're ready. Let's go down to a low plank and then we're done with our abs. Okay, so low plank means we're gonna be on our elbows this time. Make sure the shoulders are aligned with your elbows. So check in, make sure you look correct, then lift up your back legs, bring that booty down, pull your belly in towards your spine, and let's do knee taps. We're gonna tap down to the right, left, right, left. Go slow, controlled, slow, controlled. Don't let your belly hang down to the mat. You gotta suck that belly in. I'm doing it, you can do it too. Keep going, four, three, two, I always do a hold and just hold. Hold, breathe through this, focus on your mat. Think about the sun is coming, spring is coming soon. I can't wait. Are you still holding with me or am I doing this alone? Yes, you are holding it. Four, three, two, one, drop down. Push up into Cobra. Come back into Childs. Don't fall asleep on me. Pull yourself up. When you're ready, get some water and grab your weights. Hi, 
hydrate. Okay, now for weights, you're at home, you maybe don't have weights, but as I told my friends, I know you all have beans because I saw you at Costco or at Safeway getting all the beans, so you can use cans. Now in bar, we use really light weights, so two pounds and under, so cans are perfect. So let's say you didn't get all the beans on the shelf, they were sold out, so go in the yard. Grapefruits are great, okay? They're very light and they work just perfect. So do what you can do or you use no weights at all. Again, in bar, we do a lot of small reps for a long time and you will feel the burn with no weights. So I'm gonna go with no weights today. So let's work on some bar arms. So again, let's get a good posture going. We're gonna go into first position, which means our heels are together, our toes are apart. Our belly's pulled in and we're gonna slightly bend our knees, okay? So make sure when you bend your knees, you tuck this booty away. So like a, when a dog is frightened, he kind of tucks away the booty. That's how we want our bar posture to be. We want to get that spine as straight as possible, and we want our neck aligned. We don't want to be hunched over, and we definitely don't want to do this. So try to, I call it the suck it in and tuck it under. That's what we're gonna do. So keep that position, be mindful of it the whole time because a lot of times you'll slip back into your regular posture. So let's go down, bend our knees, pull our bellies in, let's bring our arms straight out. So they're just out, it's like you're reaching someone on both sides of you. Okay. So let's just start press, um, pressing down. Act like you have an imaginary ball underneath, like a balloon, and you're trying to pop it. So you're squishing it down, down, down. Focus on the down. Is your belly still pulled in? Pull those abs in. Act like you have a crop top on. You gotta pull them in the whole time. Let's go down, down, down. Keep pressing. Now, if you don't do bar correctly, you can do this all day. So, you know, if you just kind of flop around, you know, really focus on pushing down on something. Like you're pushing down, you're trying to pop a water balloon. You know that feeling? Or act like you're in the pool. You can't go fast in the pool. You have to really use the resistance of the water, right? So push down, down, down. Keep going. I know. Arms should get tired. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two. Guess what? Palms come up, press up, up, up. Make sure your arms are nice and long, they're elongated. Make sure you're not hunching up, your shoulders are relaxed. Remember, we're at a tea party, your chin is high. Men can go to tea parties too. I like when men do bar, because men always like to use like 15 pound weights. And then in the first 10 seconds of bar, they're like, wait a minute, can I get those two, two pound dumbbells? I'm like, sure, go ahead. It's okay. Good, keep punching up, up, up. Four, three, two, one. Palms come down, point your finger, unless you're holding on to weight, point your finger, start drawing a quarter for me. Circles, circles, small circles. Now if you have weights, you might be going slower, which is okay, otherwise, draw the circle. Your arms will get tired soon, they should be tired already, just small circles. We're going forward. If you're feeling like, oh, I'm just, I want a little bit more, go down lower. So make, make like you have a diamond here in between your legs. Go lower. Make sure your belly's pulled in, your chest is lifted. Don't lean over. Face straight. Shoulders are relaxed. Good. Keep going. Four, three, two. Now let's go backwards. Backwards. So this is just a simple, easy bar segment that you can do at home. I have so many bar arm segments. I love doing arms. I love doing legs too. But it just shows this is something anyone can do. If you want to be stronger, you just grab those two pound weights. Four, three, two. Now let's do big circles. Oh yes, big. You're going back, back, back. You should feel the arms. Make sure your belly is still pulled in. Mine is pulled in at all times. Yes. Arms are getting heavy. Don't walk away. Keep doing this. We can do this together. Come on. Four, three, two. Oh, guess what? We get to go forward. Let's go forward. Forward. Yes. My husband hates these bar arm things. He just likes to go into the room X, you know, and be strong. He use all those big weights. I'm like, 
like, honey, let's do circles together. Big circles. Let's keep going for six, five, four, three, two. Don't give up. One. Hold them. Just go down. Elongate those arms. I want strong arms. Don't flop on me. Make them strong. Nice, long, lean arms. For four, three, two, one. Release. Roll your shoulders. Shake out your legs. We doing okay? You feeling good? Good. I'm feeling good. All right, let's continue with our arms. Let's come up into this full post position. Our feet can go back into a first position, which our heels are together, toes are apart. It's like you have a piece of um, very healthy vegetarian pizza or a low fat piece of pie in between your feet, okay? That's the position. Let's go down a little bit low again. Pull your belly in, tuck your seat under, put your arms out. Let's just push down and up, down and up. Again, imagine you're in water, okay? So don't do this, that's not it. Push down, everything here is with intention. Resist on the down, resist on the up. Use those arms both ways, good, good. Oh, you want a little extra, okay. Let's do this, let's go down and up. Down and up. We go down, straighten the legs. Down, zip up the thighs. Keep focusing on the arms though. The legs are just extra fun. Keep going. Strong arms. Four, three, two. Stay down, now push back. Back, back, back. A little back, you're just pushing back just an inch. Okay, but your arms are nice and high. Don't let them go low. Keep them high, keep going. Pull the belly in, good. Four, three, two, one. Come back up into our bull pose like we're touchdown, okay? Now let's just close, open. Close, open. Close with your elbows. How close can you get your elbows together? Can you close them all the way? Can you open the chest? Close, open. Close, let's add the legs. Ready, close. Open, go down, up, down, up. Keep going, this is fun. Four, three, two, keep them closed, make a fist punch up, 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 up. Now look at my legs, I'm down low. If you need to, you can come up. You want an extra workout, you go low. Make sure your abs are pulled in and you're just punching up, okay? Don't, no momentum, just go up. Up, up. It's like you're punching the wall and then you stop. You have to punch it again. Keep punching. Punch, punch. Good. For eight, seven, six. Almost there. Four, three, two. Hold it up. Come low. Bring your elbows together. Play peekaboo. Hello. Keep them up high. Don't let them sag. Four, three, two, one. Release down. Roll your shoulders. Are we feeling good? I'm feeling good. All right, let's do a little bicep work, okay? So a lot of times people think, oh, I need those big old, you know, 15 pounders. No, you don't. We could do a lot of work in bar. And bar is not here to bulk you up. Bar is here to lengthen, tone, elongate your muscles, okay? Because I'm kind of a little person and if I have these big old Popeye muscles, it'll probably look pretty goofy on me. So I like to keep it lean and toned, but still work on my biceps. So let's come out to the side. And what we're first gonna do is we're just gonna pull our arms behind us and reach them all the way up. So we pull behind us, reach them up. Pull behind, reach them up. So right now, use some of those back muscles, reach them out. And reach, good. And reach, add the legs down and out. Down, out, reach out. Make sure you're coming up into a V, a V. And remember, you can have your weights right now if you want, or your grapefruits or your cans, good. Four, three, two, one. Hold them out, float the elbows out. I don't want them at your waist. I don't want you to use your waist. Float them out, okay? So your elbows are out now. Come in and out, in and out. If you don't have any weights, I want you to make a muscle each time. Like you're squeezing an orange right here. Squeeze, squeeze, good. Make sure your abs are still tight. Look, I'm still in a low position. Are you or are you straight? Try to go low if you want more of a workout. Keep going. Squeeze, squeeze. Use your cans or your grapefruits. Whatever you have, good. For four, three, 
three, two, one. Now hold them out and then you kind of have a little area here where I say you have your babies here, okay? So don't drop the babies, don't let them go low. Keep them up high. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift our arms up, up, up. Almost like someone is pushing up your elbow. Push up, up, up. Good. Weird movement, but it works. You will feel it. Keep going. Make sure your abs are tight. Because when you're in class, I will be saying that the whole time. Good. For eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Hold them up. Now just do a little punch out, out, out. Good. Punch, punch, punch. A little movement. So just focus on the out, out. Punch out, out, out. You flex, you punch. Use your muscles. Use those biceps. Really punch, punch, punch. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Start coming forward. Three, two, keep punching. Punch out, punch out, punch out. So it looks like this. Punch out, punch out. Good. Make sure your seat is tucked in. As you're doing this, your belly's pulled in. Good. Four, three, two, ready. Hold them out. Lift, lift, little lift. Remember someone's pushing up on that elbow. Lift, lift, lift. Good. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, hold, just hold. Four, three, two, one, relax. Roll your shoulders out, good. All right, so let's do a little work on the back ends of our arms. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna come to the side now, pull your belly in, your feet are parallel, bend the knees slightly, and all I want you to do is hinge forward. So your back is straight, don't, don't do this, don't make a curve. Pull the belly button in towards the spine so you're sucking this whole entire area up. And when I always say this is because I want to protect your back. So many people have back problems, we don't want you to have a back problem. So pull it in, focus on pulling in your belly towards your spine the whole time. So let's bring our, our hands behind us. They're gonna, palms are facing up, okay? So if you're holding your weights, or grapefruits, palms are facing up. Pull your belly in. Now, bring your palm, bring your arms up, you know, to where it's semi-comfortable. I don't want them down here, I want them up here. From here, straight arms, you're just gonna lift. Lift, focus on the up, we lift up, we lift up, up. Make sure though, you're looking forward, looking somewhere ahead of you, trying to keep your spine, your neck aligned, pull the belly in, your knees are bent, don't wanna lock them out, and your arms are straight, are they still straight? Keep them straight, good. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Keep them lifted as high as you can. Watch what I do. We go out and in, out and in, out and in. So you keep them as high as you can behind you. Your palms are still facing up behind you, but we're going out and in, good. You should start feeling this. Use your triceps. Keep going. Four, three, two. Hold them out now. Now push out, out, out. It's like you're flying out, out, out. Good. It's like out and up, out and up. For eight, seven, six, four, three. My grapefruits are getting really heavy. Two and one and hold them up. Just hold, hold. Four, three, two, one. Roll your shoulders back. I think you felt that as well. Put your weights down. Let's stretch out your arms. After all my bar segments, I always stretch out. So whatever body part we use, we stretch it out. So let's do an arm movement. You bring your arm across, your right arm across. Grab it with your left. Look over your right shoulder. Just stretch out this arm. Wasn't this fun? A little grapefruit bar session. I love it. All right, pat yourself on the back, grab your elbow, lean over. Stretch out that side of you and this part of your arm. All right, come back to center. Left arm goes across, look over your left shoulder. Keep smiling. Working out makes you feel so much better. All right, 
Pat yourself on the back. Grab that elbow, lean over. Nice. Come back to center. Clasp your hands in front of you and then push them out. Pull your belly in. Push your arms away from you. And then slowly bring them up. Lean over to the left. Stretch them out. And lean over to the right. Stretching out, slowly release. Ladies, you can let your hair back down. Put your scrunchie away. And we are done for this bar session. I hope you join me for the next one. Thanks, see ya. Hey guys, thanks for joining me here for my bar videos. I had a lot of fun, I hope you had fun too. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the videos and share it with your friends. Thanks for being part of this Nolifit family.